the other thing we have to note is that uh, in power systems, quite often we use what is called auto transformers. <coughs> we also do tap changing for uh, voltage regulation. So what are auto transformers? Uh, we saw earlier the principle of these transformers based on uh, two separate windings, as shown in this figure here. Okay, so we have a winding with N1 turns, and uh, the other one is with N2 turns. And uh, uh, in this two winding transformer, the rating is V1 times I1, uh, which is equal to V2 times I2, okay? But what if we take this arrangement over here and connect the secondary winding uh, in series with the primary winding over here. So N1 and N2 turns are connected in series over here, and we think of this as the input, and this, the sum of V1 plus V2, as the output here, okay? So in this case, you can see the same transformer. The If you connect it like this, the, uh, the capability would be th this voltage, V1 plus V2, times I2. And this is the same as if you say, take it on this side over here, on the input side, V1 times I1 plus I2, okay? So you'll see that uh, it'll come up to be uh, the same thing when you apply uh, the turns ratio over here. <coughs> so, so the auto transformer capability, which you saw earlier in this equation here, uh, if you divide this by uh, V2 times I2, which is the true two winding transformer rating, you will see that it will be that two winding transformer rating times this factor over here, okay? And uh, uh, this can be written, this auto transformer rating uh, then becomes the system VA transformer, transfer requirement times this factor over here. So think of this as low side here, and this as the high side over here, okay? So it's uh, one minus uh, this low side voltage divided by the high side voltage. And when these low side and high side voltages are close to each other, uh, you can appreciate that uh, the auto transformer rating is, uh, Let's see here. This auto transformer rating is uh, quite a bit uh, smaller than the system VA transformer transfer requirement. Okay, so uh, we need a much smaller transformer, uh, and which will have higher efficiencies and lower leakage reactances as compared to a two winding transformer. If you connect them in this uh, auto transformer manner. The, the disadvantage, of course, is that we don't have electrical isolation. So these things uh, are used very often in uh, power systems. <clears throat> so here is a, an example where uh, uh, the, you need to transform one MVA from one side to the other, and if you used a two-winding transformer, your transformer would be rated at one MVA. But the low side voltage is 22 kV, High side voltage is 33 kV. So if you plug that in, uh, plug in these values into the previous equation, the auto transform rating is only 333 kVA. So this will be only one third the size of a two winding transformer. So that's a tremendous amount of savings. Uh, the other thing we'll see is a phase shift uh, that is produced by these Y delta transformers here. So let's say that uh, on the primary side, uh, we have uh, uh, three transformers uh, where the, the primary windings of these three transformers are connected in a delta as shown here. And on the secondary side, uh, they are connected in a Y as shown over here. And here I have grounded this Y, but uh, it doesn't have to be grounded. <coughs> so here we can see that, uh, you know, let's say, the, this uh, winding here has N1 number of turns, and the corresponding winding here has N2 number of turns. So VAC divided by N1 should be 
VA divided by N2, which uh, is written in this form over here, VAC is uh, N1 over N2 times VA. But the other thing, when we draw the, the phasor diagram, uh, we see that VA is leading VA, uh, this voltage. If I draw it like this, this voltage is leading this voltage here by 30 degrees. Okay, and uh, with respect to this hypothetical neutral, the the number of uh, the voltage is only one over square root of three, so that's where this factor comes in, and uh, then we have the same number of turns n one over n two as shown here. So the magn in magnitude, this uh, VA if you represent on a per phase basis, uh, and this is uh, of course is on a per phase basis too. This ratio is uh, uh, you know, given by this, but in addition, uh, we have this phase shift of 30 degrees. So that's where this term comes in over here. So the thing to rep uh, you know, remember is that uh, we have uh, uh, phase shift due to this uh, delta Y connection. This is uh, uh, primary connection here, let's say, and the secondary connection over here. Then we can also use uh, these transformers to create phase shift. <clears throat> so let's say we have uh, a transformer like this, but in addition, uh, we have an, an extra wi winding here. This one here is coupled to this one, and uh, uh, this one is coupled to this one, and this one is coupled to this one here. And they're all connected here. So, <clears throat> so you know, in this case, what what we see here is that uh, uh, without these extra windings that we have, we are showing here, we will get this voltage VA. But by having these extra windings, if you look at the phase of this over here, this uh, uh, this one over here, that has extra phase shift. Uh, it's actually lagging behind this voltage right here. Okay, so we can create this phase shift, and depending upon the number of turns between this winding and this winding, and similarly in the other phases, uh, we can control how much phase shift is taken place. And uh, as you know, the power transfer, power transfer uh, on a transmission line depends upon the angle between the, the two terminal voltages. So if we can control that angle, we can control the power flow on a given transmission line. So the, the, this uh, phase shift is often used in uh, power systems. The other thing is that we need to model uh, these transformers with uh, three windings. So, uh, and quite often, two of the windings may be in the form of an auto transformer. So you have a high side here, and then you have a low side, and then there's a delta winding, and this delta winding may be a low voltage winding where you can hang the capacitors or you know, the solid state devices to control, uh, to provide reactive power and auxiliaries and so forth. So th this three winding auto transformer connection as shown here is very common, okay? And uh, they can also be represented by a, an arrangement as shown here. I'll not go into the details because uh, you know, representing a three-winding transformer is a fairly detailed uh, topic. And uh, in my opinion, that probably is beyond the scope of the first course. Okay, but certainly it can be done. And uh, we see this here. And what I'm showing here is, uh, you know, three-winding transformers, but there may be three transformers, each one with uh, three windings which are connected to give us this uh, configuration. Or we could have all in one single core. That, those are called three-phase transformers. But you know, when it comes to very high power rating, they become very large. And uh, transporting them and so becomes a problem. So quite often, uh, only uh, single-phase transformers are used to make up a three-phase system. Okay, And that way, if uh, one of the the transformers were to fail, uh, you know, you have uh, another single-phase transformer in spare, which you can 
replace it with. But if you're using a uh, you know, three-phase transformer where everything is on a single core, although initially it's cheaper, but if it fails, then you need to replace the whole thing. So there are you know, pros and cons. The other thing we have to know is that uh, quite often we have uh, off-nominal turns ratios, uh, and uh, those could be uh, represented in our studies by this pi circuit shown here. And again, uh, that is uh, the detail that I will not go into in this presentation here. So we, we come to basically uh, the summary here where we have seen the need for transformers, uh, their basic principle of operation, uh, transferring of leakage. Uh, first, we came up with the equivalent circuit, uh, and then how we can transfer leakage inductances from one side to the other, how we can show them on a per unit basis, and their efficiencies in reactances, the regulation, and auto transformers and tap changing, and phase shift and phase angle control, and also uh, three winding transformers and perhaps three phase transformers, which I just mentioned. And then we can also represent them uh, by a pi circuit if they have off, off nominal turns ratio. So thank you very much. <laughs>